Good morning, Mario. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Uh, maybe we could just start off by if you could uh, introduce Aloga and yourself and how you fit into the company. Okay, uh, Aloga is a leading European um, third party logistics provider focused on the healthcare industry. I'm the commercial director for Aloga Europe. So, what have then been the key developments in your supply chain strategy and operations over the last year, and what cha uh, changes are you planning to make, say, over the next 12 months? Well, our supply chain strategy is very much built on our customer supply chain, which are the healthcare companies, pharmaceutical and healthcare companies. Uh, in the last 12 months, the big focus we've had is on our development of our European offer, the Aloga European offer. Uh, what that is, is about bringing in, putting in place a consistent uh, Aloga offer across many countries. So, what do you mean by uh, an Aloga offer, then, specifically? Specifically, we're speaking about a harmonisation of our service, and that covers all the elements, uh, right through from quality to transportation, uh, underpinned by a key account management programme, which allows us to share best practice across the different countries. So, collaboration quite a, a, an important part of the way you function as a company, then? Absolutely key, because we are an extension of the healthcare company supply chain and therefore the information we give them, the services we give them that add value are key to them. So what do you think will be the biggest challenges to your developments over the next year? Um, I don't think there are any huge barriers. I think it's more around culture and organisation. Um, we are ready to uh, work with our healthcare company uh, clients in more and more countries. Sometimes their internal structures or their legacy systems don't permit them to work with us across more than three or four markets. Yeah, there are some regulatory barriers, but generally speaking, most of those can be uh, dealt with through the Aloga European offer. Uh, and so they're not real restrictions in, in offering a multi-country uh, logistic solution. So as uh, a 3PL provider, how are you helping companies balance that increasing pressure on margins with the need for a visible, resilient and agile supply chain? Well, there's the Aloga core offer, base core offer, which is about receiving storage and dispatching. Um, reporting uh, and managing information but we're extending our services into for example order to cash services uh, different types of transport solutions so that we take away some of the pain of the supply chain uh, and manage it on behalf of our manufacturer customers. Because I, I'm, I, a lot of people have talked about how on the one hand outsourcing may have a sticker price that would be more than doing it internally but at the same time you've got so many more management um, issues to take care of if you handle it internally that actually ends up costing more, so you're saving money by using a third party. Is this actually correct in most cases? Yes, I mean if you look at the trends in outsourcing, um, our estimate is about 30 to 40 percent of the type of activity where we manage the supply chain is outsourced, so there's a huge opportunity to, for more, but it's growing very, very quickly. Increasingly we're seeing particularly pharmaceutical manufacturers and who in the past wouldn't have considered outsourcing now as things tighten are considering outsourcing and, and we certainly believe if you look at the full costs across the supply chain or value chain then outsourcing is, uh, is the way forward. So how does Aloga then cope with shocks to the supply chain, particularly when dealing with um, things like temperature controlled and um, cold supply chain? Well Aloga in all its businesses has a disaster recovery planning in place uh, specifically for uh, temperature controlled uh, solutions we have a range of solutions, both passive and active. Where we don't have them internally, we work with specialist third parties uh, and we can provide a full validated solution right down to specific products on specific routings. So what are, what are some of the key things that, that people, when, when designing their disaster recovery strategies, often tend to get wrong, uh, particularly those that, that, that perhaps you've already identified and accounted for? Well, to start with, some of our clients uh, don't have them in their own operation. That would do it. <laughs> yes. But uh, for those that do, um, they need to be robust, they need to be regularly updated. Um, and there are occasions where we will provide a disaster recovery solution even though we're not the lead uh, logistics provider. Um, so we'll build the IT links and we'll build the capability and it will be ready in the event of a specific uh, issue. So actually a logo could also work um, alongside existing strategies then with, with some companies, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean if we, for example, working with one manufacturer in one country, because of our the Aloga IT gateway, which allows one interface regardless of which country they're working with us, 
if, for example, we're working in France, uh, but not in Italy, and they want a disaster recovery plan in Italy, then the, through the same IT links we have in France, we can have an IT, uh, IT disaster recovery in place in Italy. So what are the key issues you found when managing supply chains in emerging markets? Um, particularly when you look at, say, complex mega cities and then these incredibly hard to reach rural areas. It's a challenge, um, but we're present in emerging markets, uh, for example, in, in Russia and Romania, as two examples. And our experience is, firstly, do your homework. Uh, understand that the markets are different, don't take a Western European view and impose it on those countries because it won't work, uh, and accept that things are done differently. I'm not su suggesting you compromise on quality, but just accept that things are done differently. Um, and work with a local partner who has a local presence because they'll understand exactly uh, what you can do and what you can't do. So obviously risk mitigation is quite a key issue. How has collaboration helped you, helped influence your uh, risk mitigation strategies? Well, it's a good question because we, ha we work with some clients who um, s uh, may take the view that working with one partner across multi-countries introduces a higher element of risk, whether financial or operational. Uh, from, a, from a financial perspective, a logo is part of Alliance Boots, so we're very financially secure. And in terms of the operations, I've mentioned the European offer, where we try to harmonise our approach to aspects of our operations, such as quality. So if you take those into account, we can, we can reduce and mitigate risk. So finally, I also wanted to just ask you quickly about talent management. That's one of those things that seems to come up almost with everyone that we speak mm. to, particularly mm. in, in, in um, supply chain. Mm. Um, what steps are Aloga taking to ensure that you've got the right supply chain talent on board? And what exactly is the right talent for Aloga? Well, I mentioned a moment ago we're part of Alliance Boots. Alliance Boots runs a comprehensive uh, talent management programme. Um, that includes uh, training and development, identification early on of talent, uh, and specific programmes then linked to that identified talent. Yeah, the talent we look for is talent that espouses the values of our group. Uh, particularly around trust, innovation and focus on the customer. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today, Mario, but unfortunately we are out of time for this particular video. So if people do want to find out more about Aloga, where can they go? Sure, they can go to our website, www.aloga-europe.com. Uh, there's a number of case studies on that, on that site uh, and, all in and all details of our services. Fantastic. And of course, if you do want to find out more about uh, Logipharma, you can visit logipharmaeurope.com.